Hi, hi everyone, welcome to Spiritual World. Today I am here to talk to you guys about a brand new book that I read. It's called Counseling for Toads, A Psychological Adventure. Now, um, I don't know for you guys if you've ever been a bit depressed or you've been with depression in your life. There's moments in our lives that we always have the ups and downs in our life. <clears throat> so today we're here to talk about the book by Robert DeBoer, Counseling for Toad, A Psychological Adventure. I have to say, this book really brought me a lot of big resonance in my life because it allowed for me to see there's moment that I couldn't control my emotion and how to take back the charge of my emotional states. It was a story about a very depressed toad coming to see the heron, the psychologist. Now, this toad is actually from the toad of the wind and the willow. I've never read the book, sorry. Just talks about the toad was uh, very mischievous and he came in because he was severely depressed. Now the heron talks to him and he said he was depressed because all of his friends really criticize him. He doesn't feel good about himself and he was so, so, so depressed. Inside of this book, it allowed for us to really understand that sometimes in our emotion that we are depressed, sometimes it's not really because of this moment that we are depressed, but it goes back to the deep end of who we are as a child and how we feel on the inside. So you have to imagine like that. You are a child and when you are a child, you are dependent of two very giant tall people, which are your parents. Usually they're very nice with you, but occasionally they could have certain type of emotion. But because you're dependent of them, you have to adapt to their emotions. And then because you have to adapt to their emotion, maybe if there are moments they get mad at you for a different kind of reason, you had to adapt to sway through that. Inside of the book, the toad had a very critical father. So he always had to adapt to the father. So instead of saying, I don't want this, I don't want that, he would just accept everything. And he became a people pleaser because he just, try to appease the father. He never showed his emotion and he just hid everything inside and he just became a bit of a joker. But he remained and kept all the emotion inside. He didn't know how to say no. Now, this is a component of the child ego state. So a long time when we are in our child ego state, we will experience different kind of emotions. Some people will throw tantrums, some people will get angry. You have to reassess when you're in that state, when you were a child, what were the behaviors that you would have. Now there's also the adult ego state. The adult ego state is when um, you have to remember the pattern of your parents. How did they educate you? Did they educate you to be hypercritical or things like that? Or if they educated you to be very joyful, analyze the behavior of your parents. And from that end, you could see if now as a grown up, if you've become much more like your parents, you replicated the patterns of your parents, or if you did not replicate the patterns of your parents. But we have to understand we have both of those states. We have the child ego states, and we also have the adult ego state, which is very often, it could be you are, your parents will give you a hypercritical or they will have different kind of emotion, analyze it and see if you are in that pattern. So there is also, we have to understand we have both of those ego states, okay? The child ego states and we have the adult ego states. But there is also the adult state. The adult state is the state that you are in right now and you are actually taking responsibility of your action, you're reassessing your action and you're taking the right judgment at the right judgment and the right actions in your life. And that is the three components that 
you have as a human everyone has it we have moments that we are in the child ego state some moments we're in the adult ego state some moments we are in the adult state but sometimes you're more in the child state child ego state or sometimes you're more in the adult ego state or you're in the adult state so they're all interwoven. So whenever you're feeling really depressed, you have to analyze the root cause. Is it because you're in the child state, you feel wounded and you feel hurt, or you're in the adult state, you're in the mood that you're being an adult, you're being hypercritical, you're judgmental, or things like that, or you're in the adult state. Most often than not, there is this um, theory called the Pavlov's dog. So whenever, a dog is like seeing very delicious food it drools so in that same token we have to think about our emotion is as such when we are faced with outside emotions or criticism or things like that you instead of automatically reacting in that state like for you, if it was anger or if you were like hypercritical or you would just shame yourself, sometimes you would go into that state. But the key is to jump out of that state and say, oh, I have this emotion. What is the right move in that situation? For example, if your friend is being hypercritical of you, you say the automatic reaction is like, oh, your low self-esteem. Instead, you could detach from it and say, oh, no, no, no. If I react that way, it's like the automatic response. But instead, I shift out from it and say, oh, what kind of emotion I could have. And from that end, maybe you can understand, oh, your friend, maybe he was just projecting. Maybe your friend was just trying to give you constructive criticism whatever the pattern is, you can use that to reassess your life. So sometimes a lot of things, the emotion that's inside, you could actually take control of it and you can shift out from it. And this is the book called a Counseling for Toad, a Psychological Adventure. And I thought it was beautiful because it allows us to think, Oh, so many times in our life, we have different kind of emotion. And when we don't pay attention to the emotion, we get uh, scrammed by different kind of emotion of other people. And then we go into our childhood state and we're like, oh, I'm so depressed because someone said this about me. Someone said that about me. But in fact, you did not have to react this way because all you had to do is to detach from the situation and reassess it from a very logical standpoint. And from that end, you will achieve more freedom and more more empathy toward who you are and freedom from the negative thought instead of being depressed you just take on more action and you'll feel much more at ease with who you are as a person and this is all i wanted to share with you when it comes to uh, this book the counseling for toad a psychological adventure by robert debord it's a great read bye, -bye for now